Right now, lawmakers in the Tennessee State House are meeting to decide who represents Tennessee voters. State lawmakers are voting on several bills tied to redistricting, and that change will stick for the next 10 years. That meeting just got started minutes ago. This is a live look inside the State House. 10 News reporter Marissa Rios spoke to supporters and critics of the new voting maps. Lawmakers are considering changes to district maps that determine who represents you. The way the Republican majority legislature proposes redrawing the district map, House Representative Gloria Johnson says she could see a massive change in her 13th district. They drew uh, my portion out and put it into a different district. And, um, you know, it's frustrating. That Democrat says her Republican rivals are changing her district to benefit the GOP. Representative Johnson says there's gerrymandering with the proposed redistricting plans. There's absolutely gerrymandering going on. I mean, there's no question. And, you know, anybody who tries to deny that is just really embarrassing themselves. Senate Republican Becky Massey disagrees. I believe that what we've done in the Senate meets the is fair and, and uh, legal and meets all the requirements that it needs to have. Knox County Democrats say the map unconstitutionally splits Knoxville's black majority neighborhoods between three districts. A statement from the League of Women Voters of Tennessee says the failure to keep communities whole has an impact throughout our state and not just in our urban areas. The arbitrary slicing of rural and suburban communities through a partisan redistricting process does a disservice to our citizens. Senate leader Becky Massey says there's equal representation in each district. I think it's it's important that we represent everybody, and and there are African-Americans that live all over Knox County. 